Hello and welcome to a Smurpy video and we are looking at Wave 4 of Power Rangers Lightning Collection Jack from SPD and he was the Red Ranger and um, I believe it or not Disney actually did a good job on Power Rangers um, contrary to you know this is obviously my opinion some people don't agree with the Disney area I actually enjoyed it and there were some great seasons SPD being one of them Jungle Fury being another as well as RPM um, and this team said in the future Space Patrol Delta were a very interesting team they had Doggy Kruger as their leader a dog um, and they clearly expanded out into the universe so which was pretty cool um, and I was probably an adult at this time I didn't watch SPD probably until around 2009 so I probably didn't watch it when it came out um, and I watched it later on and enjoyed it so let's get Jack out of his package in so here is Jack out of his package and um, my thing will focus and pen and thing that is a really really beautiful head sculpt there for the helmet like I said Hasbro do Helmets, monsters, alien faces, they do them perfectly. What I don't do very well is human faces. He looks really, really beautiful. Very simple. I always loved the the pattern. I love the story with A Squad and B Squad. Now, um, SPD has been given... I'm not sure if that's normal. In terms of the belt... Uh, SPT, I feel, have got a, a lot of nice love out of this Lightning Collection series. Um, in terms of accessories, I can't remember what um, his weapon was. It was probably some sort of sword, etc. But I always remember the two pistols. So he comes with two pistols. He comes with a little blasting effect. He comes with his little head there, which I'll put in a minute. And that does look like Jack. He's even got um, some nice dreads in there, which is pretty awesome. He comes with two little hands. One will be his um, holding hand for the SPD Morpher, which is here, which I think is very, very nice. Very, very cool. And we'll show him up against Doggy Kruger in a minute as well. We like Doggy Kruger. He was my favorite out of Wave 1. Absolutely a beautiful figure. This dude is awesome. See it. Very nice. So what Hasbro have done, so in the show the two guns would combine really nicely. So if you can see there the end of the other gun points in there and then this bit comes down there. I'll try and do it off camera because I can't do it in this. I've tried seriously three times off camera, on camera and I've had to start again. <laughs> but um really really nice I, I love the idea and it was same with Magnet Defender um, I discovered during filming that after about 10 minutes that the the gun sword actually goes in there is really really brilliant so um gotta give Hasbro kudos for that for going that extra mile with this figure because seriously I feel like they could have easily easily skipped it so I'm sorry you're not really seeing this on camera it's terrible. But you can see there. And then you just separate it. There we go. Two guns. So literally, that bit goes in there in the butt. And then that bit just flicks up. Very, very cool. Very clever. Thank you, Hasbro, for that awesome innovation. And as you can see, they fit really, really nicely into his hands. This one's a little bit thicker, so you can... Be careful, but if you do it the right way around, it goes in there anyway. But they look very, very nice. His hands can go around going pew, 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 pew. Pew. And here he is with his lovely head sculpt on there. Not that anyone's going to be showing that off, because you're always going to have his ranger head on, right? And then he's got his lovely white SPD Morpho with the emergency signs on the top. I do dig that. And he's got this kind of like flat hand, like hiya, hiya. And then we're carefully going to put 
Doggy Kruger in there because we know how dodgy I am at trying to do things on camera and things fall down and they look really really good together absolutely awesome um, one thing that I do hope with Doggy Kruger is we get him in his commander outfit and his ranger outfit because I feel like that would just be the icing on the cake for him and it's easily done once you've got this mold it's probably easier just to give him a whole dog mode anyway so hopefully Hasbro will do that at some point because I would dig that him in command command in the Rangers as well and like I said he was probably my favorite out of that first wave um, actually saying that you have Lord Zed in there he was way up there anyway still is way up there but I'm um, very very beautiful figure and here they are both morphed and they look very very nice and here's a little effect that um, Jack has on his handgun, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, you can see that Dougie's got his, his lovely sword there. So I need to watch SPD again to remember what Jack had, if he had any other weapons. I really can't remember. SPD was, um, they were more like cops. So the two guns make perfect sense. I love the two holsters on the side as well. And um, they look pretty, pretty damn cool. It's looking very, very nice there together forever so Jack for me um, SPD Red Ranger is an easy win it's a really nice simple paint design he's got a couple of nice weapons a nice little gimmick he's got the SPD Morpher he's got an alternative head two hands spare hands he falls over on command and he's just great so very very happy with him so I'm going to hold him because I was going to drop him. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. My page is SmurdP. Follow me on Twitter at SmurdP. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just tweeting and tweeting and stuff. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. I think I've said that. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.